What's up, aviators? Welcome back. We got biceps today. We got a competition. We got underhand pull downs against chin ups against inverted rows. So we're versing the exercises. There are three compound exercises for your biceps. If you watch my video, there's only two compound exercises for your biceps. I've been corrected. I stand corrected. Camille, thank you for showing me the third compound exercise for biceps. <laughs> I'm also going to do a compound series coming up, so keep your eyes out for that. But today we're talking about underhand pull downs versus chin ups versus inverted rows. The only three compound exercises for biceps. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, when you're talking about biceps, there's one king of exercises, underhand close grip pull downs. And this is not my exercise. I got it straight from Mike Menser. So it is the king. It is the best exercise. It's rank number one. We're gonna start right off with the best, y'all. Number one exercise. So if you figured it out, it's better than chin-ups and it's better than inverted rows. I'm about to explain to you why. All right, so the trick here, is get a mind to muscle connection. So in order to do that, I advise you to flex your biceps before you even start. That way they're engaged. Your mind to muscle connection is right there. Keep it on the biceps. Don't pull with your lats, pull with your biceps. Come down, squeeze the bicep right there. And then all the way back up into the stretch position, just like so. So you're starting in a stretch position. You're coming down full range of motion. You get max contraction and then keep the bicep engaged during the negative portion of the rep. Perfect rep, y'all. Perfect positive, perfect negative, and perfect hold right there. All right. So I give the nod to the underhand pull down simply because you can do more than your body weight without having to strap weight to your body like you would on chin-ups. So, this one, to me, gets the nod because you don't have to deal with a wonky weight hanging off your body while you're doing chin-ups. You got a nice smooth machine right here. It gives you the perfect rep and the perfect amount of weight. All right. You're not gonna see a lot of people doing this for biceps, they've been doing it for back. But believe me, this is 100% the best bicep exercise you can do. And remember, there's only three compound exercises for biceps. So I would advise you doing almost all of them, almost every workout. Stay tuned, we got chin-ups. Chin-ups! But first, let me back up. I forgot to mention on the underhand pull-downs, if you're not strong enough yet to do a chin-up with body weight, you're gonna start with the underhand pull-downs and work your strength up until you can get to free weight chin-ups, body weight chin-ups. Another advantage of the underhand pull downs. All right, now let's go to chin ups. <laughs> All right, so you have, it's gonna be almost the same exact movement, but now you're pulling your body up. You're not pulling that weight down. Then this is a tough exercise, so don't be ashamed if you can't do it and you gotta start a little bit lighter over there on the pull downs because this is tough. All right, so it's the same movement. When you come up to the top, you wanna contract your bicep right here. Boom, and then bring it back down slowly. Same advice when you're hanging here, flex your bicep before you start. Get it engaged and then keep it engaged. Squeeze, keep it engaged as you bring it down, just like so. Right, right. Squeeze the top, stretch them at the bottom. Once again, another perfect rep. When you start at the stretch position, you get a good contraction and then keep it engaged during the negative portion of the rep. All right, these are tough, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm 214 pounds. I can do these, but they're tough, believe me. And then after doing pull downs, they're super tough. So if they're easy for you, strap that body weight on, do it with your ankles. Uh, let me show you real quick. Oh. While we're out of here, <laughs> this is how I add weight. You can use the belt if you like. Let's see if I can reach it. <sighs> yep. 
So just grab it with your feet, and now you're chinning up, just like so. All right, all right, just like that. But remember, that's a tough one, extremely tough. Especially the heavier you are, the harder it's gonna be. It's a body weight exercise, makes sense, right? All right, that brings up another good point. You can do a drop set here. Start with weight, drop the weight, and then keep going. But that's kind of tough. You can do a lot easier drop set over on the pull downs. Another advantage of the cable pull downs. All right, we got inverted rows coming. All right, after the chin ups, we have the third compound move for biceps inverted rows. So, this is traditionally a back exercise. And if you do it overhand, it's gonna be a back exercise. In order to make this a bicep exercise, you gotta grab the bar underhand and then do your rows. All right, so if you don't know what an inverted row is, let me show you real quick. You hang on the bar and then you're gonna pull your chest to the bar, just like so, right? So I'm overhand right now. In order to make this a bicep exercise, you gotta go underhand. And now, once again, get that mind to muscle connection with your bicep, flex it before you start, come up, squeeze the bicep, don't worry about squeezing your back, and then keep the bicep engaged the whole entire time you come back down, just like so. And boy, after doing the pull downs and the chin ups, this is a burner, Whew. believe that, all right. It's kind of like underhand rows, but to me, this is more bicep than what you get with a barbell row. All right, so that's number three on the ranking, but don't discount it. It's definitely a good one. You'll definitely get a good bicep gain, a good bicep burn from doing underhand inverted rows, and it's only the number three compound exercise you can do for biceps. So I would make sure you get two of these exercises in every time you train biceps, at least, if not all three. And then go to some isolation movements, some curls, don't bell barbell curls. But start off with your compound moves, right? All right, so rank them once again. Underhand close grip pull downs, number one, by far. Easy use, you can go lighter, heavier, you can move your body, you can do drop sets easy. Number one movement. Number one, it's gonna get you gains. You can add and do more than body weight with do it without putting a bunch of weight on your body and getting all wonky out there. Number two, chin ups. Tough exercise, but you're gonna get some serious gains doing chin ups, y'all. I mean, don't, don't discredit the chin up. It is almost as good as the pull down, it's just right behind it right and then three the inverted rows just make sure you're doing them underhand and make sure you squeeze that bicep at the top at the peak there and then keep your bicep engaged as you're going back down and don't worry about squeezing your back because we're not working back today we're working biceps right all right for more videos like this check out our bicep playlist and don't forget to check out our live every sunday at 12 eastern time you catch me and Camille live, ask us questions, shoot us whatever you like during that portion of our time. All right, thanks for staying tuned. 88 Fitness, like and subscribe.